Hello and welcome to Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotments Adventures and uh, first of all I start with an apology if I put anybody off their tea on the Naked World Gardening Day uh, apologies and next year I'll put a warning triangle up just for heads up because some people have actually asked when is it well obviously that was on the 7th of May it's always on the first weekend in May so it's around that time depending where of course May falls next year I've not yet looked but thanks again for your comments and I, it was it was a bit of fun here on the allotment. Well, there's been lots happening here in this last week. I've planted out a lot of vegetables that you'll see shortly that I talk about uh, my purple sprouts. They've gone out now. And uh, I've also sown some of the Romansco uh, broccoli or uh, cauliflower, whatever you want to call it. And uh, they've gone in as well. So there's lots of things happening. I've had problems, haven't I, this year with my carrots? Well, it's finally happening. It's just amazing. This here is a tray full of carrots. Do you remember the guttering? The carrots are coming up in there too. If I have a look at this photograph, so they're coming up. And my other carrots, which are in another tray, are also coming up. Now, the ones actually in here, let me reach in and get these ones. These are coming up. But what I like about these is, this is something you can do at home. Because these are little round carrots. And so they can go in, well, trays such as this. Possibly a little bit deeper, maybe just a bucket. Because they don't need the depth. So you can plant and sow carrots in anything you like, especially this particular type, this lovely variety, the little round ones, and these are called Paris, Paris Market 5 in fact, or Atlas. Of course they're Atlas, they're round. So it's brilliant, the carrots are finally coming up. And uh, well, I'm also overrun now with uh, beetroot because that wasn't coming up either. However, here we go more beetroot to plant out so i'm looking forward to that. i've got a special area to put my beetroot in i'll be doing that over this next week and uh, of course we'll pick out the strongest from here it's great i think the really sunshine weather we've had over this past week has really helped i'll just pop that back in there um, everything to grow and of course we have here in front of me one of my giant sunflowers so if you have still not entered the competition or you still you've got time get your seeds in in this weather in this heat they will grow rapidly i mean this is stunning i can't wait to get them outside and uh, they'll be brilliant these apparently should grow up to 10 to 15 feet they don't have to be supported at all because their stalks are so super strong to support the massive head so well who's going to win the competition i don't know well here I am next to the new growing area and I've put in my purple sprouts and I'm giving it a big risk because I've never done this. I've always grown my sprouts under cover uh, due to aphid attack and they've done really well actually. But this year I'm going to go without. I'm going to try different methods. What I have done here is a two barrier method to hope, hopefully help prevent the slugs in this area. I've put some netting down underneath, first of all, the plants and I've cut a hole through and planted through that into the ground. When I did that, I put some compost in it and watered really, really well. And they've taken really well. I'm very pleased with them. They're staked provisionally. So obviously when they get bigger, we can add stakes to these stakes if we want to. And uh, I've put cardboard around the bottom now. Obviously it's really easy with the cardboard. I'm very lucky I've got some old boxes and so I can do some really big squares. And so far I've been down every single night on slug watch. And we haven't had any slugs around this area and uh, well that could either be the fact that i've put this netting down or maybe there aren't any slugs in this area as yet but we'll keep an eye on that talking of slugs i came down the other night and uh, here's a little bit of film and once again i do apologize because now i'm in my dressing gown but this is what was said then i'm on slug watch i've got slugs around and i'm making sure that they don't eat my plants. Now, interestingly, I've still got slugs in the top bank frame where I've got my cauliflowers and my uh, beetroots and my onions are in there as well. And, uh, well, I was down, so I've took some photographs and aren't they cheeky? Look at these two slugs. 
they're just ignoring the fact that they're on a mat that's supposed to be preventing them from uh, well getting to the plants basically they seem to be not bothered at all about those uh, woolen mats I'll have to relook at the woolen mats and maybe I'm using them wrong I don't quite know maybe I should have used the whole mat and like I've done through here put holes in and buried them through but that's a, that's a work in progress in there we're going to keep going with the slug defense I think what I am going to do because I've got loads of cardboard I'm now going to put the cardboard on top of all the defenses I've got and I'm going to go and try and find some coffee grounds too and see if that helps me prevent the slugs I have been down every single night on slug watch and uh, I came down last night and I've got two or three from that area they weren't near the plants though interestingly and it seems that those wood pellets that I put down maybe are doing the trick so maybe it's just the rough or the texture I don't know something about the wood pellets that seem at the moment to be working although they are really expensive things once again thanks very much for watching Jeremy's Yorkshire allotment adventures before I go an update on my potatoes they're shooting up I've had to put another covering on the ones that we set off earlier in the year so my earlies are really having a good go and uh, well I was at the garden centre again yesterday I can't help myself I bought some more and uh, they'll be going into bags and buckets all around the allotment to keep us going now right through to October November December time because they won't be ready to them but the sunshine's really helping them establish once again thanks ever so much for watching thank you very much for your comments I love hearing about them and please send them in let me know what you're up to because my viewers love to see what everybody else around the world is growing yes around the world as you know come on we've got Canada Australia New Zealand Spain Sweden and of course here in the UK I'll see you next time on Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures oh and don't forget to press the subscribe button we're going upwards now and that's really really fantastic news for the summer months I'll see you here on the next show ta for now <laughs>